Okay, so let's talk about restorative therapies for erectile dysfunction. So restorative therapies, regenerative therapies are under the umbrella of shockwave therapy, PRP, platelet-rich plasma, or stem cell therapy. They all sound fantastic. The whole goal with trying to improve that underlying cause that led to the erectile dysfunction to get those erections naturally, spontaneous, and working again. It sounds fantastic, but it's really important to understand the basis of the data for it and do these therapies actually work. So first, let's start off with shockwave therapy. So shockwave therapy has actually been used in a number of disciplines, mostly in orthopedics, where it's trying to stimulate stem cells, recreate blood flow to get the system working again. Now, when it comes to erectile dysfunction, there's been a number of studies which have shown that it is beneficial for erectile dysfunction. But it's really important to understand in what patients does this actually work in. So it tends to be in patients who have mild to moderate erectile dysfunction. So patients generally respond to Viagra, Cialis, or maybe just not enough for penetrative intercourse or to use those erections. Shockwave therapy, there are various number of protocols that exist. Often, the most common treatment recommends typically about once a week for about six weeks where we apply shock waves to the penis to again stimulate stem cells and new blood vessels to increase that blood flow. When it comes to the treatment, it's essentially painless. It takes 20-30 minutes to do and then after a few weeks you should start noticing improvements in erectile function. When it comes to durability of these treatments, these are where the questions come in. How long will this actually work for? Most patients may find a beneficial improvement in erectile function for about two years. However, when men are having issues with erections, a lot of this largely has to stem from blood flow. So as men get older, they're more likely to have cholesterol issues, high blood flow issues, diabetes, and these things all impact erectile function. So if we do not correct some of those underlying conditions, then the erectile dysfunction will recur. This is not a permanent solution to your erectile dysfunction. The other piece of it is making sure that you're utilizing the correct devices. There are a number of shockwave therapies that you can actually just buy on Amazon or online. And unfortunately, those are not medical grade and they're not the same waves that we're currently using in a medical facility. So it's really important to understand, number one, do I even need shockwave therapy? Am I the right candidate for shockwave? Wave therapy, what is the potential success rate and how long is this treatment going to last? But also the biggest question is what led to this and how can I take some proactive measures to improve my erectile function? Now, when it comes to other regenerative therapies such as platelet-rich plasma and stem cell therapy, they all sound fantastic. Let's recreate the blood flow. Let's get the system working again. Unfortunately, there is very limited data to support the use of platelet-rich plasma for erectile dysfunction. In fact, we don't even offer PRP for erectile dysfunction. This is something that we're actively researching and something that we are currently running a clinical trial to see whether PRP actually works for erectile dysfunction. So apart from clinical trials, it's really not beneficial to use PRP for erectile function because there just is no data for it. And the same goes for stem cells. Again, another promising therapy sounds fantastic, but again, more data is required for the use of these therapies for erectile dysfunction. Although it does seem that there is very minimal harm to these treatments, we really just don't know yet if they're beneficial. And often these therapies are out of pocket. So patients are going to have to expend exceedingly amounts of money for these treatments. So it's really important to understand what treatments are actually evidence-based, which ones work, and what are the potential upsides and downsides of these therapies. To learn more, if you have any questions, comment below. If you'd like us to make any videos on other topics, please comment as well, and subscribe to our channel now. I'm Dr. Pramal Patel.